Hello Aries, this is Irish Donna. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am broadcasting from Chicago and I am here today to do your November love reading for 2019, Sun, Moon and Rising. This is a reading for the collective. If it resonates with you, great. And if it doesn't, um, there are many, many wonderful tarot readers that you can uh, watch on YouTube. Also, I highly recommend that everyone take time to watch their, uh, also their, their ascendant sign or rising sign video. I find for myself that it resonates every bit as much, sometimes even more than the sunshine video. And I want to thank everyone who's taken the time to subscribe, ring the subscription bell for notifications, like and share. I'm so appreciative. We are brand new here on YouTube, although I've been reading tarot professionally um, for many years. And you can find ratings on the internet. If you just Google Irish Donna Tarot, you will find lots of information about me, my accuracy, and the satisfaction my clients have experienced. All right, Aries, getting started here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there we go. First card out of the deck is the Four of Cups. And that means you're bored, you're dissatisfied with your love life. You're not a happy camper, but you know, you, you have somebody who is filling a void and that's just about it. Your energy for this month coming in is the two of coins. And it shows me that many of you are willing to uh, have two options in your life. You know, as you, since you're so dissatisfied here, this indicates for me very active uh, ser mm, searching, you know, and being willing to talk to other people that might resonate better with you as a lover. So, so that's the energy you're bringing in. And I do like to put the energy card over here. Okay. Also too, we would like to get the energy of the current person that you're with, because with the four of cups, it does look like you are bored with a person. So Let's take a look and see what the energy your partner is has coming into the month. What is their energy? Whoops. Oh, lots. Of, oh, boy. Okay, sorry about that. We'll take a second. <laughs> Those just flew everywhere. Thank you for your patience. All right. Well, your your love interest seems to be exhibiting a level of uh, foolishness and or desire for a new start also. I am getting judgment. They want to make a decision in the relationship. The Four of Wands, what they really want is a decision to be made that resonates with stability. Uh, this is a marriage card in the traditional deck. It does show that the energy that you are uh, bringing into the month, Aries also, is a star card. It shows that you are... Uh, really a very, very good person and that your love interest sees you as a star that resonates with uh, your love interest and their opinion of you. Okay, so let's see what's crossing this for good or ill on the with the Four of Cups. What is crossing the Four of Cups for Aries and the situation in which they find themselves for good or ill? Let's see. Okay. We have the Six of Wands. Okay, you're going to be victorious. That's You are determined to be victorious. You are determined to get the love that you want. So you're very determined this month. Um, and you're willing to take whatever steps necessary to get what you want and to have a victory in love. All right, Page of Wands. Page of Wands indicates that uh, you may get some very sexy texts coming in. Uh, it also shows in the recent past that you do, that your, your lover's card is a soulmate card. And right now, it looks as though you have uh, a lot of thoughts about uh, a past lover. I'm also getting the coins, the pinnacles, um, palace of coins indicating that you really would like to have your goal and your effort will be placed in finding great fulfillment in love, having something stable and solid, because that's what the coins are. Uh, it shows that you definitely will look for a relationship in which you're able to have 
a very good life with a person. That's going to be an important part of your consideration. I also get the Tree of Life card here. It is really a good omen for your search for fulfillment. Um, let's take a look and see what's coming in the seven position, which will be your energy again, where you find yourself in the month. It shows the, okay, the Page of Cups, a Tower card, ooh, a Devil card, the Queen of Cups reversed, and the Four of Wands. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, typically I, there's only one card that goes in this place, but what I'm seeing for you is that you are very, very action-oriented this month. It shows that you get a message that you don't like or somebody says something. Basically, this is usually a message of love and your reaction to it is that there's something false and dishonest about it. And it also looks as though you think that your current lover has double energy, which means they're trying to manipulate you into insisting that all is well when you know that it isn't. Your intuition tells you that. It also indicates that your lover is talking about where you live and so forth, and you're giving a lot of thought to that. All right, let's look at the situation around you, and that is the Nine of Swords. It shows that the situation continues to worsen during the month of November. It brings you a lot of pain, a lot of worry. You just find yourself in, in your head all the time, 24-7. Okay, let's look and see what the hopes and fears are for the month. What are your hopes and fears for Aries? What are the hopes and fears for Aries for the month of November? All right, okay, Two of Swords. Well, your fear is, is that you will go yet another month being unable to decide what to do about this situation. But it's heating up. The Tower card means that it is very likely that you will have a breakup during the month and, you know, agree maybe to continue living together is what it looks like until you both find some sort of satisfactory uh, new housing. So let's see, Aries, let's see. You're going to work on your stability, though, this month. And it looks as though you get a very lucky break with a new lover coming in. Okay, so the final outcome is drum roll. It shows the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords does not mess around. If someone does, if they, if a lover lies to the Queen of Swords, she demands the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And with this tower card, she's going to make a cut. So Aries, it does look like this is you. This is your energy. It looks as though the, the lack of, um, of satisfaction is going to be met with victory, that you're going to use your intuition. You are thinking about returning to an old lover. Uh, and But you're not going to make a decision this month completely. But you have made the the decision to look for love elsewhere so that is what i get for you aries that is your reading for november i thank you so much for your time and once again we thank you for all your support with your subscribes likes and shares over and out irish donna from chicago